People of the last city, humanity has endured a devastating blow. Vanguard scouts have confirmed that Io, Mars, Titan, and Mercury have disappeared. We don't know why. We have lost contact with Deputy Commander Sloan and Jensen Scribe Ashamir. We are deploying Guardians to all corners of the system to find answers. And with those answers, we will form a plan. In the meantime, we ask that all lightless civilians remain within the safety of the city walls, under the protection of the Traveler. Do not lose hope. Humanity has survived many horrors. We have done so through the strength of our community, through steadfast commitment to one another. Stay strong. Be brave. The Traveler protects us, and we will protect you. The Guardians will come through. They always do. I've seen terrible things born out in the darkness. Every moment brings them closer. My future does not begin here, but yours does. It's time to step beyond the light. And it all begins with a splinter. We are all in great danger. Earth, the great machine, Elixir, and the human. Darkness walks among us. We are all in great danger. My kind must survive. Please, send help. There is not much time. What? another one. They all scan the same. Empty. Why did the darkness invite us here? You're quiet today. Yeah. It's just, we keep coming face to face with darkness. And every time we fail to stop it, we're just so powerless. I'm picking up a distress signal. Someone's in trouble. My friends, we are it's Varix. He has a lot to answer for. Darkness walks among us. I'll send a message to let Zavala know. No, wait. Where is the signal coming from? Here. Europa. I've tracked Varix's distress signal beyond the ridge. We'd better hurry. It was Varix, you know. He instigated the riot at the Prison of Elders. He's equally responsible for Cade's death. The Vanguard's been after him since. No wonder he's hiding on a desolate moon.
We're close to the origin point of Barracks' distress city. Fallen patrols are right where we're going. The campsite. They must be at the barracks too. Let's hurry. These fallen had an unfamiliar house symbol. Who are we dealing with? Someone's been staying here. There's traces of darkness energy. It's Braytech. From Eventide, Clovis Bray's Golden Age colony here on Europa. Whoever was here was using it to track barracks too. They must have intercepted the distress signal before we did. Okay, I've got the signal's true origin point now. It's not far. Let's hurry. Barracks must have really done it this time. If we don't get to him first, someone else will. If it's not already too late. Wait. Darkness. It's close. I feel it, but it's different somehow. Not only a traitor, but a thief. Now, where is it? Safe from you, yes. Search the buildings. Find it. Wait! Aramis, old friend. These powers, they create chaos. They are changing you. This... <laughs> Cling to your machine god with this power. We make our own fate. Always playing pretend, living in the past. I should have seen it. Make an example of him. Barracks should be just up ahead. There. That's where Barracks' signal is coming from. Hell Barracks. Yes? Please, fire away from Barracks. Wait a second. I'm picking up more chatter on the Fallen's comms. Have them surround the perimeter. Snake does not leave here alive. It will be done, Aramiskel. Savior, hurry! You must free me. <coughs> Varix thanks you. And now must hide. Not so fast. We heard your message. Darkness walks among us. What do you mean? There is no time. They are coming. Varix asks for your protection once more. I will take shelter inside. Succeed, and Varix will reveal all.
That's the last of them. Success, Savior. Ferrix is truly grateful. Then prove it. We expect answers. Come to Ferrix, and you will have them. But know that our work here has only just begun. You do not trust Ferrix, yes? But leave your distrust, your blame, for later. The Elixni who attacked me, she is Aramis, ship stealer. A new Kel of Kells, unifier of the houses. And she seeks to build an army of Elixni, powered by darkness. If she is not stopped, she will destroy us all. You must go. Varix will help you find your way. Varix, the power Aramis used to trap you, was that? Darkness, yes. We call it stasis. Power in opposition to your light, given by the Pyramid. It led Aramis astray. Europa was to be a haven for Elixni, but Stasis corrupted her. With it, she turns obsession into opportunity, working in haste to empower Elixni with the dark gift. Aramis is not stopped. She will build an army capable of snuffing out the light once and for all. This is what remains of Eventide. Clovis Bray's European colony, built to house those who came to build Exo and to become them. So you came to Europa to what? Hide from the Vanguard? Varix knows of the elephant in the room. Cade Six's death was not my intention. No day passes without regret. I will answer for these crimes. But not before my people are safe from Aramis. That dome, is that where you live? A pinnacle of hope for the remaining Elixni, but a standing reminder of Aramis's betrayal of Varix. I feel it again. The energy I felt earlier. It must have been Aramis using stasis. The darkness trail Aramis left behind leads right through that door. But it's locked. With stasis, yeah. You will not be able to break through. Then we'll find another way around. You're all here for the same reason. Because you desire freedom for our people. Aramis is close. She's ours now. Centuries we have been bound by them, servants to the so-called Great Machine. We even built idols in its image. We have become pawns of our own devices. No longer. Ah. Today, 
We begin breaking free from our chains! This power is a gift. One I will share with all of you in time. Vilax! One by one, we will rise again. This is our future. Our enemies stand no chance against this power. The Great Machine will finally know our pain! It would appear our enemies have arrived, eager to test us. Let's not keep them waiting. I can feel it. It's too powerful. Erebus has begun spreading stasis to her army. You must get out now. I'm calling our ship. Let's go. Don't stop. Keep moving. They actually have darkness. The Fallen. This is really bad. Ship's here. To the left. Across the gap, go! Varix believed Erebus wished to create a new life for the Elixni. But these dark powers have poisoned her mind. And so I fled from her. For this, she calls me Betrayer. There are others who fled, those like me, who still worship the Great Machine. They are in hiding. I will not leave them behind. They will be casualties in her war without our help. But perhaps they can be brought to safety. is no longer the haven I hoped it would be. For those who do not wish to live under the rule of a dark kel, we must play savior. A secret communications network would allow us to reach out. Barracks, we're ready. Where is the first relay? Barracks thanks you. Power's going, Barracks. Good. Two more. Okay, Barracks. That's two. Did you hear that? Sounded like voices. What? Who? The ones who spoke through me. We must hurry, then. There's one more relay. Them. They're here. They're beckoning us. We beckoned. You answered. We've kept you waiting long enough. Come to us. Salvation awaits. The light believes you thankless. 
nothing more than a soldier asked again and again to do its bidding. So we want to thank you with a gift to help you finally take control. And here comes our guardian, right on time. I know. I owe you an explanation for all this. I once asked guardians to destroy the Blackheart, to prevent Darkness's arrival. Success may have been achieved, but I now know that fate comes knocking sooner or later. The floodgates are open. The Darkness is here. I wield it now with intent to stop our enemies where the light cannot. Your resilience within the pyramid proves you're capable of wielding it too. Before us lies what we call a ziggurat. Its purpose is temptation. To begin your training, you must give in. Here, take this. Please understand. The line between light and dark is so very thin. Let's cross it together. Your old pal Drifter was right. It's time to ditch the light, good, dark, bad dogma. And folks are finally starting to see it. With everything that's at stake, you are reveling in being right. Just let me have this one, Three Eyes, all right? Just once. I cannot tell you how relieved I am to see you. We are in great need of allies. And I am in even greater need of a buffer between myself and the ever-obnoxious Drifter. The stranger, you see, is far too reserved to provide sufficient rest from his chatter. I suspect her quiet has more to do with what she has to hide. Though I've yet to work out what or why. Still, even these two are an improvement from my solitary studies on Luna. You're lucky to have your ghost, Guardian. As you can surely tell already, this journey into darkness is not to be traveled alone. The longer we're here, the more nervous I get. Not that I think you can't handle it. I know you can. I just wish I had a better idea of what that might be. We're definitely in uncharted territory out here. I'm picking up a fallen transmission. It's Aramis. Attention all pawns of the once great machine. Did you know that before it doomed your kind, it did the same to mine? You are not special, just the plaything of a so-called god who would sooner seen your life end than its own.
So, we can use stasis to unlock these latches after all. Let's look inside, see if we can find anything useful. Can it be? I can smell that poisoned power on you. Does corruption spread so quickly? Or do you hope to fight Aramis with her own weapons? You walk a very dangerous path. Take this recklessness to Phylax then, but beware. She is Aramis's most skilled warrior. She made her name at Twilight Gap. Prove yourself a worthy opponent, and she will show herself. like we want ourselves an invitation. Phylax found fame at Twilight Gap, yes. Fame for ruthlessness, for final deaths. For Phylax, there is no greater joy than battle. You must challenge her, but use caution, Guardian. They say you are a great warrior. And you have challenged Aramis Kel once before. But I think you are filled with machine weakness. God dependence. You flee from battles you think you will lose. Prove you are worth my time. What did Phylax mean by God dependence? The Traveler? I don't feel dependent on or limited by the Traveler. I feel close to the Traveler. Protected. For... I did. Since you got that splinter, I feel further away than ever. seen the Fallen's military forces so organized. For many years, Elixni lived scattered, yes. Aramis took our broken houses and forged an army. She wants to give that army stasis. They never came from the last city. Giant mess. Technology taken from the Kells Scourge. Another splintered house united under Aramis. I will bring your corpse to Aramis Kell. I will forge myself a ring no armor. God. Surprising strength for such a little creature. Destroying the general doesn't destroy the army, but this is a start at least. Let's get that splinter back to camp. Aramis's presence on Europa is not happenstance. Temptation set the wheels in motion, but obsession propelled her here. To destroy the light with an army of darkness, 
She and her followers make those selfish choices moment to moment. The darkness places a spotlight on our desires as it once did me and those I cared about. For a time, I had forgotten. Humanity relies on our selfless act to bring about a better world. Darkness is no more than a tool with which we do so. With splinters of darkness still in hand, Aramis remains an immediate danger to humanity. Look within. Focus your power. Let it grow. The ziggurat awaits. I'm picking up another transmission from Aramis. To my Alexi sisters and brothers out amongst the stars and here at home on Europa, we have suffered a great loss today. Our beloved warrior Phylax was murdered by pawns of the once great machine. As always, they eagerly seek to eradicate us. Remember, light only burns bright so long, but darkness is forever. I'm here to fight for the light, and so are you. If this is how we're going to do it, I'll be by your side. But we are toying with power neither of us understand, and I have no control over it. If anything happens to you, I may not be able to help, but I'll do what I can. I have seen what power has done to Aramis, but perhaps you are different. Perhaps there is hope. Praxis, he is the visionary mind behind Aramis's technology. He wrings power from the darkness itself. But Verix was not privy to his secrets, his experiments. You must discover how he creates these dark weapons and stop him. That power that Aramis has, I've never seen anything like it. If she succeeds in granting it to her entire army, well, she won't. Because we're going to stop her. We have to. Aramis met Praxis in prison, yes? Oh, each day they spoke through the walls of their cells, dreaming of a new world. His research gave Elixni the ability to draw power from the splinters. Be careful, friend. Interlopers, murderers, extraneous variables. Kill Praxis, and Aramis will no longer be able to empower her followers with darkness. Your kind may compelling test subjects. Let us run a test. Initiating defense protocol near fire. No, no, no. Troubling. Embarrassing. I must keep this from Aramis. The data must be clean. Elevated. 
Is it strange to see this place, Guardian? Oh, Elixni are haunted by what we have lost. But we are not forced to walk the ruins of our former life as you are. The others did not come this far. You are an outlier, aberrant, but I can account for you. Aramis does not commit errors as one of This is all she gave me. <laughs> Barracks, Praxis is down. We're finishing up here. Good. Without Phylax and Praxis, Aramis will grow reckless, careless. Without her counsel, she is weak. She will struggle to control this new dark power. Perfect time for us to strike. Guardian, we should get back to camp with this splinter. The stranger will be waiting. Praxis and Phylax are dead. We must retaliate! Atrax. Critis and I can handle this. Return to the crypt and prepare the body. Aramis, we must take pause. These powers are not what we expected. I too am impatient, but there is wisdom in caution. The destruction they crave. Guardian, I don't even know where to begin. It seems every day I know less and less. But that's not why I came here. The Vanguard has been watching Aramis, and I have important intel for you. You've clearly disrupted Aramis' plans. Vanguard scouts report that she's fled to the Cosmodrome, perhaps to loot the remains of the old House Devil's hideouts. Her plan is unclear, but I believe she's getting desperate. Go to Earth. Find out what her next move is. And Guardian, I understand what you're doing, fighting fire with fire. But the darkness is not our friend. The darkness caused the collapse. By all accounts, it seeks to cause another. Don't let it lead you away from the light. The city needs you. I need you. For now, do what you must for the good of humanity. But don't lose sight of who you are. Good. Together, Guardian. Barracks, we figured out what Aramis was doing in the Cosmodrome. It's the House of Devils, or what's left of them. She called for reinforcements. Of course. The Devils will follow Aramis's every command. And there are many left yet. We've tracked them to an old factory. Do not allow them to reach Europa. We're on it. 
barracks, Aramis was planning on flooding Europa with spider tanks. We've dealt with the ones in charge. Yes, our comms buzz with chatter. Word of your success has already reached Europa. Aramis is most unpleased. She intends to react with another set of reinforcements. The Vex. The Vex? How? Europa holds yet another dark secret. A portal built by Clovis Bray leading directly to the Vex. Aramis intends to activate it. Then she needs to be stopped. We're on our way. Barracks, we're here. Heading in after Aramis now. The portal within. It was built in your golden age to study Vex. But Vex escaped. Murdered many. You must hurry. Devastation is all we face if Aramis opens that portal. We're on it. Barracks, we're here. Heading in after Aramis now. The portal within. It was built in your golden age to study Vex. But Vex escaped. Murdered many. You must hurry. Devastation is all we face if Aramis opens that portal. We're on it. It's no surprise to find you here. Aramis, you must not do this. Do you not care for our people? Come on, you know, traitor. Tell me, Barracks, was it not you that tortured and murdered Elixni in the prison of Elders? Barracks is... A hypocrite? Yes. At least here they die for our cause. You are a monster if you do this. I'm no monster. What I do, I do for the future of our people. Open that portal and you kill them all. Many will die, yes. But more shall live. All will die, you Varricks. Do you recall? We were absolutely powerless to stop it. I tried everything to put it behind me, to move on. But in my head, I could not silence the collective cries of our injured and dying. But then, darkness presented itself, and I took it. Finally, Varricks. Finally, I felt I could do something. So go ahead. Call me a monster. But do not doubt that what I do, I do for the future of our people. Believing all this the desperate plan of a Kelgon mad, rather than a step towards absolution. Let's call it justice. For spilling the blood of Worthy and Nixley and taking what was rightfully mine. Aramis has always been brash. But this... is different. The darkness pervades her mind and the spirit. We'll stop her, Barracks. We have to. I made you into one of my own. There she is! Unfortunately, you're too late. I'll just have to eviscerate you another day. If you make it out alive. Or it's on! Wait! 
saw that radio Larian fluid going. Erebus, what have you done? Ours was a world of prosperity and peace, not unlike your golden age. We worshipped the great machine. But fate intervened. With it came a whirlwind of destruction. In the chaos, the great machine fled, abandoning us all. Aramis, like most, was left consumed with rage. In the wake of loss, Aramis rebuilt a life, found new family, one forged from anger. Aramis saw only destruction of that which abandoned us. Varric's fears for elixir lives. At the command of Aramis, they will meet their end. We all do. We must all make choices. Aramis chose herself over her people. If Aramis is to succeed, the great machine and all who follow it will meet their end. In darkness, there is only one truth. Death. let you. Darkness is a parasite. It burrows its way into your soul and feeds on your most selfish desires. Your every wish, tainted and twisted, as you become the very thing darkness wants you to be. In that world, there is no future for any of us. I have witnessed this. First hand, I refuse to let it happen again. So know this as you step away from the light once more. Inside us all is the strength to control darkness. We need only look inward and remember why we're here. We are humanity's final salvation. Aramis is sending another wide-range transmission. Judgment Day is upon us, my fellow Elixni. Another foundational pillar of our beautiful society has been knocked down. Praxis, dear friend. Your death at the hands of those puppets will not go unavenged. Soon they will answer for what they've done. I will see to it myself. Rise now, my fellow Elixni. Do not let this scum take more of our sisters, brothers, fathers, and mothers. We are the future of our kind, and we will destroy all who threaten us. Leave no pawn alive. Careful, Guardian. This is stasis at its most powerful. I won't lie. It scares me. I just don't want to see it turn on you. It 
its grasp is sinister. I won't lie. It scares me. I just don't want to see it turn on you. Its grasp is sinister. Aramis wished to return the Elixni to greatness. Varix wished to follow her, but her anger has made her blind. And it has made Varix see. Aramis cannot save the Elixni, and we cannot save Aramis. We must help the Elixni who wish to flee Aramis. We must give them the second chance she promised. And then the way will be clear for you to end her reign. My friend, thank you. Soon the Elixni who still know hope will flee to safety. Mizrax, the Light Kel, awaits them. The more Elixni that escape, the better I feel. They deserve safety. Away from Aramis. A victory, yes. But more remains. When I find them, they'll all die. Good riddance to traitors like you. Unworthy of my empire. Erebus, it was never meant to be an empire. It was meant to be home. Oh. Our home was taken from us by your once great machine. There is no home for us while it still lives. No. The Vex are already here. You think we insane, don't you, Paul? One day you'll understand. When your city falls and your people die, when your traveler abandons you! Aramis is wrong about Varix, about Elixni. Varix came to Europa for a second chance, for the right thing. That is strength, not weakness. Oh, please, Varix. You only came here to hide. Like a coward. No! Releasing Vex put Elixni lives in danger. Many have already perished. Aramis, you are the real coward! Silence! I've had enough of you, Barracks. I will enjoy watching your skull shatter into pieces. Aramis. Welcome back. It's time to finish your The darkness was not meant for you. You did not understand this power. I will destroy you, your one great machine, and everyone you care for. Your chains are showing. All that power wasted serving false gods. Ha! Allow me to help you break free. Ghost! This is... I... I can't. I'm sorry. Ha! Look what I've done for you. No more light. No more dark. Look within. Focus your power. Ooh. How interesting.
The only thing we have to break here is you. Come then, Pawn. Show me what freedom has given you! Come to me, Pawn! <laughs> Darkness resides within, beckoning you, as it has many others, across lifetimes, timelines. Beyond ours lies another world, one pervaded by darkness, where guardians abandoned their light at the call of temptation. In that world, you were no exception. But here, in this world, Light and dark swell within you, side by side, giving you strength. Remember that when you step onto the ziggurat once more. You're there for one reason, and one alone. To fully harness the darkness within you. It's time now. They're expecting you. I just want you to know, I'm here with you, through light or dark. We're partners, always. taken control of the darkness within and sent Aramis to her end. It's time the truth presented itself to you. I mentioned before, another timeline. My own. There Aramis lived, and the temptation of darkness thrived. It pervaded the minds of the good and preyed on their desires, bringing about a new dark age. I feared these events unavoidable, and though I still do, you've given me cause to hope again. Our fight is far from over. We must prevent that dark future, no matter what. Thanks to you, I stare no longer at a familiar end, only a promising new beginning. That power looks good on you, kid. 
Real snappy. When the world goes to hell, folks like you and me just keep on going. Still gotta work, still gotta get paid. Bring those fancy new powers through Gambit sometime, huh? You're far from true mastery, but your progress with Stasis marks a step forward for our cause. Hopefully your example will encourage others to explore this path. The vanguard view us three with suspicion. But you, you they trust. Show them it is not misplaced. Demonstrate how the darkness can be used for good, just as the light has been for evil. This is only the beginning, Guardian. We have much more yet to uncover. Aramis is gone. I can't say I agree with the methods, but you did what had to be done. Europa is a treasure trove of Golden Age knowledge. That knowledge, good and bad, belongs to humanity and must remain out of the hands of our enemies. With their Kel gone, the Fallen will be scattered and disorganized. Frequent targeted strikes will keep them that way. I've made an arrangement with the Awoken. Temporary immunity for barracks while he helps us secure Europa. It doesn't sit right with me, after what happened to Cade. But there are greater threats on our doorstep now. Aramis is gone. I mourn the loss of an old friend. I celebrate the death of an enemy. The taste is bittersweet. But ideas are stronger than death. I hear whispers of Elixni who wish to take the mantle that Aramis left behind. There is still work to be done, yes. Good to have you back, Guardian. The Fallen offer each advanced weapons on your rope to improve their military strength throughout the system. Our goal is to sabotage their efforts however we can. We'll start by taking out a critical manufacturing plant. Barracks will be advising you on this mission. He has specialized knowledge of the facility. It is well guarded, not only by Aramis's elixir. Vex incursions threaten Europa. A scythe through those who still whisper Aramis's name. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. You will encounter many locks here. Varix offers you his keys. They are old. The teeth must fit this new lock. Do you really think your old access codes will work? Maybe there's another way. There is no other way. All right. Just between you and me, I'm really tired of hacking security systems. Doors locked down. My key or failure. I still don't see why this would work, but if I have to hack this thing, I will. Access denied. Big surprise there. New plan. Guardian, I'm picking up a volatile energy signature on the other side of the room. A power core, I think. Let's get a little more proactive here. That was very tight enough, Ghost. We've been through a lot lately. I'd say we're learning to do things our own way. Wow, the Fallen really built this place up. And another computer terminal. You must not blow it up. You will disrupt too much. 
I'm fine. Let me have a look. Factory is powering down. Well done, Gunny. This will go a long way in gaining us a foothold on Europa. But we should hit them again as soon as possible. Take advantage of the Vex presence here. Just give the word, Commander. We'll be ready. Aramis unleashed chaos on her own city. Lucky for us, the Vex will further destabilize them. We just need to land the killing blow. Stand now that the Vex are at their door. Find the cracks in their defenses. Beric thought this place would be the new home of Elixni. These reborn. But these Vex will turn it to dust. Commander, the Fallen are holding their ground against the Vex better than we expected. Someone has risen to replace Aramis. I think you may be right. Get deeper in the city. Find out who it is. Machine Spawn. Did you believe you could break Arkel so easily? Guardian Tom. She has merely transformed. And she will rise again. still flee from this city. Some for house night, some for dusk. Perhaps they flee from Critis. Zavala, we're clear, but there's no sign of Critis. She got away. We can't let Critis rebuild the fallen forces here. She slipped under our radar once already. Work with Varix on this, Guardian. He has insider knowledge. We'll get it done, Commander. Tell me, friend. Aramis wished to destroy gods, but Critis simply chose another. She craves not power, but meaning. And she seeks it in darkness. My people, your Kel sleeps, but she is not dead. The darkness brings another gift, the means to rouse her from her slumber. Rouse her? That cannot be. Aramis Kel has not left you. Aramis Kel has just begun. Aramis Kel will return in a storm of blood and ice. In her slumber, Aramis Kel seeks greater knowledge from the darkness. She pledges herself to its mysteries. She journeys through its glorious depths. And she will return not as Kel, but as a god. The darkness sends visions of Aramis Kel. It means me, her escort, out of the deep. Back to you, her people. Her faithful. If Critis speaks true, if she has found a way to bring Aramis Kel, uh, to bring Aramis back to life. We're not gonna let that happen. Welcome, Spawn of the Traitor Machine. You come to resist the rise of a god. She 
Everybody's down, Perix. It's over. That's... all of them. All of Aramis's lieutenants. Her entire council. The reign of the Kell of Darkness is ended. Thanks to the Guardian. But in death, Aramis becomes myth. Immortal. Her legacy will go on. New champions will rise in her name. We must stay always vigilant. The Elixni say, from the dust of Old Kel rises a new one. Always. Critis will not be the last. This dark power will draw more. The Elixni will fracture. For new houses, new ambitions. Come to Varix. Know what Varix knows. Together, we will stand vigil on Europa. There is always another fight. Putting stasis into a grenade launcher, huh? <laughs> Wish I'd thought of that. Listen, I think the Fallen have bitten off a little more than they can chew here. What do you say we take this thing off their hands? See if you can find intel on where they're keeping the prototype. In the meantime, I'm gonna call in a favor from the shore. Putting stasis into a grenade launcher, huh? <laughs> Wish I'd thought of that. Listen, I think the Fallen have bitten off a little more than they can chew here. What do you say we take this thing off their hands? See if you can find intel on where they're keeping the prototype. In the meantime, I'm gonna call in a favor from the shore. Drifter sent instructions for infiltrating the city. He said he couldn't be on radio. Some top secret business with Eris and the stranger. He asked me to fill in for him, but he doesn't think I'll be able to sell it. He's wrong. All right. My notes say we got ether tanks all over this rooftop. The exploding kind. Use them to get those guards before they get us. Sister. Nice job with those fireworks. Let's keep moving. I can't believe he thought I couldn't do this. So, a stasis-wielding gun. Wonder what Moon Dust and the Stranger would think of that. Actually, that's a good question. Do you think Drifter even told them about this? Too late now, I guess. The Fallen have this gun on lockdown. Max security. Stay on your toes. You don't get as old as me by being sloppy. No, oh, no. Too wordy. Don't get sloppy. Better. Keep one hand on your gun, kid. There's the gun. I got access codes to take down that shield. Let me do my magic, sister. One more. Keep pushing. Shields down. Nab that gun, sister. We tripped an alarm. We gotta, uh, hot tail it out of here. Hello, old friend. The drifter said you might need a hand. My associates will arrive shortly. There's a little roadblock up ahead. Of course. Present from the shore. I know your guardians always enjoy a little extra firepower. Another brink. That thing must be controlling the shield. All right, we're clear. Uh, thanks for the help, Spider. Oh, it was nothing. 
I've heard a little of your exploits with this new power, Stasis. Consider this a reminder. You have friends on the shore. Don't be a stranger, Guardian. Not to dwell on this, but my drifter impression was pretty good, huh? Listen. Hi. Bring a sword. See? <laughs> Watch out, drifter. There's a new drifter in town. Let me have a look at that thing. I like that rough around the edges look that Fallen Tech has. Reminds me of the Dark Age. I smash together some bits and pieces and pray to no one that it works. You could tear up the field and gambit with this. Lay some traps, catch some taken. Bring it through sometime, all right? I want to see what you can do when you're packing darkness. Humanity's refuge does not lie in us alone. We must awaken darkness far and wide, teach the masses to use it for good. But first, we must awaken its power fully. There was one whose knowledge of the darkness exceeded even our own. My grandfather, Clovis Bray the First. Elizabeth, he said to me as I woke, born again as an exo. You are going to save the world. What a load of crap. Bill Mann didn't care about saving the world. He only cared about his precious legacy. Still, here's to hoping he was right. Clovis kept most of his secrets in his personal journal. And I know just where we can find it. Strange thing. Sisters alive again at the same time. Me wishing I didn't remember my past. Anna searching constantly for hers. All this time I've kept her searching, kept her away from desire. Fortunately for those of us in need, Clovis left plenty behind. He wanted it that way. You brought the key? Everything we're looking for is in there. Clovis was a man so obsessed with legacy, he recorded practically everything he did, including every body he left buried in our family's past. History loves referring to his kind as great men, remembering their successes while ignoring the atrocities committed to get there. Make no mistake, Clovis was ambitious, ruthless, a tyrant. That knowledge is why I've kept Anna searching. She's not ready to hear about any of it. Or even about me, for that matter. We're not here to learn who Clovis was, either. Only to gain what he found experimenting with the darkness. Stasis. If we're lucky, this journal is our key to unlocking its greater potential. We'll have answers once I can decrypt it further. Thank you. For your help. When I know more, you'll know more. Turns out Clovis's journal is fairly encrypted and I'm unable to bypass most of it. Probably to keep it away from... well, me. I stood by his side for a time. It's why I look like this. He needed a guinea pig, and after Dad passed, I needed a father figure. Eventually, I realised my mistake, and joined my sisters in trying to take our grandfather down. So Clovis took precautions to keep us from interfering. Didn't want us exposing every dark truth about every unethical experiment. And so here we are, encrypted journal and all. I think it's about time we extract some good from the bad. Hello, 
this may have been a bastard, but he was a brilliant one. He had decryption algorithms for his journal all over Europa. Found one. It's in this console. Bring the key to it. We told her she was adopted, Anna. It was simpler than telling her about our father's infidelity. But it was more than that. Anna had some destructive tendencies as a child. Reminded us all of the old man himself. Our mother thought if Anna believed she wasn't one of us, she'd dodge our grandfather's genetic cruelty, as she called it. I never bought it. Cruelty isn't genetic. It's learned. Clovis chose to be evil, and Anna was just a child acting out after losing her father. But in my original timeline, my dark future, Anna eventually found her own brand of cruelty, thanks to the darkness. It used her troubled past to manipulate her, and she wasn't strong enough to resist, and I... I had to put an end to it, to my little sister's life. There was no other choice. You killed Anna? In my dark future, yes. Truth be told, I miss her. But in this timeline, she doesn't even know that I'm alive. That's by my own design. This time, I kept her away from her past and from me to prevent the darkness from getting to her. But no matter what I do, it still finds a way. Iris Morn gave in to curiosity and brought the darkness. Aramis gave in to desire and built a dark empire. As with all things dark, they were both driven by obsession. Because that's where our fault lies. That's how darkness corrupts. I can't ignore it any longer. Keeping Anna away will only cause her obsession to grow and the darkness will find her. I must find her first. The decryption code worked. There's enough stasis research in here to hold us over for now, but there's a lot yet to decipher. And Anna should be here when we do. I'll let you know what's next, once I make sense of it all. Thanks for your help last time. I was able to decrypt a portion of the journal with what we found, and it's even more unsavory than I ever knew. Amongst the madness, however, it appears our efforts were not in vain. Clovis hadn't just found stasis, he'd enhanced it. Fortunately for the world, he didn't know how to use it. Just sat in a lab somewhere until the collapse, like so many of his experiments. Decrypting the remainder of his journal should point us in the direction of that knowledge. And I know where we can do just that. I owe you an apology. From the start, we were warned not to let our emotions take over. And that's exactly what I did. I got so caught up in worrying that the darkness might hurt, well, us, I didn't notice the damage that I was doing which is the opposite of what I'm here for. I'm your ghost. Light, dark, it doesn't matter. We're a team. Bad. All this. I'm feeling a little ashamed of being a Bray right now. Welcome to my world. Elsie, Clovis, you... This is all I wanted. All I searched for. But you've been around this whole time and I never heard from you. Guardian? What are you doing here? This is actually why I brought you here, Anna. Perfect. This is exactly what we need to decrypt the journal and find that stasis research. Stasis? You mean darkness power? Anna, 
what we're doing here is extremely important. Stasis is just a tool. We've used it for good. You're using darkness? I was skeptical at first too, Anna. Both of you? After everything it's done to us? Anna, our past. I thought that keeping it from you was the best way to protect you. Protect me? I've been protecting myself just fine without your help, thanks. And this? Using the darkness? That can't end well. And it didn't before. But this time... Hold on. Before? In another timeline, Anna, you were... too obsessed with your past for your own good. And I was too selfish for my own good. The truth is, I'm not from this timeline. Where I come from, the darkness won. And I tried to shield you from it, but all I did was drive you to it. I'm sorry for keeping so much from you. I think the best way to help you now is just to be there for you. Look, I don't mean to be ungrateful, and it's incredible that you're alive, really, but I don't know how to handle this. I'm sorry. Anna, wait! Being honest with her was the right thing to do. Time will tell. For now, I'll keep working to find the location of Clovis's stasis research. We'll talk again soon. found it. The deep stone crypt. The birthplace of the Exo. And a prison for something sinister. Her followers intend to make use of it. To unleash a chaos they do not understand. Their success means untamed power beyond their wildest dreams. They must be stopped. Crypt power systems compromised. Initiating emergency backup system. Crypt status active. Orbital status standby. Humanoid life forms detected. Approaching clarity control. Threat determined. Crypt compromised. Nuclear descent protocol recommended. Clarity control breached. A single unregistered exo and a single life form of unknown biology detected in the crypt laboratory. Status, disastrous. Notice, vacate the premises immediately. This will be your only warning. Beyond our own dimension. And the 
the answer to humanity's eternal struggle. Mortality. Were it to fall into the wrong hands, humanity and the universe would be utterly doomed. I have no reason to believe you are anything other than the wrong hand. You now face godlike judgment. May it extend. I activate this, and it all goes away. Cheers to that. Nuclear descent protocol, active. Utter destruction of Europa, imminent. Nuclear descent protocol, deactivate. Orbital collision remains imminent. We must all face the consequences of our struggle for power. For Aramis, the deep stone crypt provided another grasp at darkness. But firm it was not. Their loss is our gain. For the deepest secrets of Europa are now within our grasp. It's no longer a secret what lies within the deep stone crypt, the living embodiment of darkness, shrouded in the DNA of the Vex. My grandfather desired eternal life. He searched and searched, but in the end, he created it instead. From his fountain of youth, I and every other Exo was born. This is a truth we cannot hide from the darkness within us, and so we must embrace it. The guardians that entered the deep stone crypt brought new life to the long dormant machines of Europa. They carry with them knowledge long thought lost. Now is our chance to seize it. I try to record all I can, but, but 
How can I possibly describe how it felt to hold my son? My son? I had a... Is this the child in my dreams? The one that says, What does the Lord require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and, and to walk humbly with your God. Microchips could be transmitting back to their ultra motherboard or something. Seriously? You think they're drawing us into a trap? What have we been harvesting then? The cannon fodder? Even if you're right, I find it hard to believe Clovis Bray doesn't have a backup plan. He may be egocentric, but he's not stupid. Hey, Anjali, what do you think? Does Bray have any clue what he's doing with this gate? Oh, please. He barely hears us when we're in the same room. All he listens to are his own important thoughts. Come on, we shot those vex to pieces. And drained their battery acid for good measure. No way they're transmitting anything. I'm sure. Besides, it's not those ones we ought to worry about. What happens when they send the big guns through that gate? Well, I don't have any evidence or anything. I just think we're all acting a little too confident in our own firepower. Artificial intelligence activated. Who in the hell do you think you are? Excuse me? The Deep Stone Crypt has stood for centuries without intervention. From the ether, you appear and destroy it all in one fell swoop. This is the same AI that spoke to us in the crypt, and tried to kill us. I'm more than just an AI, thank you. I am an exact replica of Clovis Bray the First's consciousness. And for the record, you were intruders. That's not entirely true. Fallen had invaded, and we tried to stop them. Fallen? An alien race that appeared after the Collapse. The Collapse? Sounds like I have much to catch up on. I suppose that you should offer some gratitude for reviving me. In the meantime, perhaps you can refrain from further destroying my life's work. Hmm? Artificial intelligence activated. Oh, you again. And what should I help you with this time? It's our friend, Banshee. An Exo. He had scattered visions of dead Exos that mentioned a blade and led to you. Did you say... Banshee? Yes, he's our gunsmith. How interesting. You're after the blade then, I assume. We're just out to help our friend make sense of his memories. Hoping the blade helps with that. Hmm. Yes, I'm aware of where it lies. You want it? Prove you're worth my time first. Same to you. Elizabeth sent you here to pester me, didn't you? I programmed this challenge especially for her, you know. I'm not shocked she held on to that grudge for more than a millennia, which can't be good for her mental stability. Clearly, you share my granddaughter's particular brand of lunacy. Let's see if you can measure up intellectually as well. Elizabeth taught you the tricks of this arena, didn't she? <laughs> Clever girl. This stage, however, I concocted it just for you. Good luck. I can certainly see why my granddaughter chose you to be her lackey. Run on back to her. What you've done here will power her smug satisfaction for another thousand years. Sure, nice shooting out there. No! Clovis? You've meddled in my affairs, haven't you? 
The Vets march on me through no provocation of my own. We were just searching for the blueprints to reforge the blade. And provoked the Vex to my doorstep in the process. If you desire the end result of those blueprints, you'd best make haste. Clovis, we're almost to you. Any slower and there will be no me left to protect. The Vex gather en masse at the facility entrance. We're doing what we can. Allow my assistance, then. There's an old maintenance tank outside. Acquire it. Demolish those monstrosities. This must be the tank. The Vex are everywhere. Almost like they were waiting for us. It's possible the Vex use me now as bait to retrieve the blade. In their hands, it will be lost forever. Along with your beloved Banshee's memories. The Vex storm the facility. I require immediate protection. We're coming. Do you spot my security frames? I'm unable to detect them. They've likely been apprehended by the Vex. We'll free any we can find. They found me. Where are you? We're almost there. The blade, do you retain it? It must be reformed. So now you want to help us. That blade was the bane of the Vex. Wielded by a valiant Exo the last time they invaded it, centuries ago. In pieces, the Vex believe they have a chance to reacquire it. <sighs> I will relent this once. I should have helped you soon. We must now rebuild it together. There, yes. Place the blade upon it. I will initiate the forging. The onslaught has arrived. They must not disrupt the forging process. We'll hold them all. Forging protocol complete. Take it. Now. Wield the blade. Destroy them all. Every last one. That's the last of them. I suppose I owe you a debt of gratitude. However, I generally prefer not to be indebted to anyone. As such, you may consider the blade your property. Though you should allow this Banshee an opportunity to test its integrity once more. You sure you're safe? Thanks to you, yes. Until our next meeting. No one. Turns out Clovis really did find Stasis power within the darkness. He just didn't know how to use it. So naturally, he hid it. Lucky for us, he did so in the most Clovis Bray of locations. With himself. The giant Exo at the bottom of the Exo factory? That's him. Well, his AI. And I think it's time we all had a talk. Anna included. This is her journey too in the dark future. She was going to take it with or without me. And when I wasn't there, the darkness was. I won't let that happen again. Anna, you came back. Yeah, well... It's not every day you reunite with your robot sister after the apocalypse. And because I figured if you went to that much trouble to protect me, you must really care. I do. I've just been scared, Anna, about losing you again. I thought I was doing the right thing, keeping the truth from you. All you need to do is be my sister, Elsie. Whatever truths we face, no matter how tough, We'll do it together. No better time than the present, then. You brought it? Confidential intelligence activated. It has been centuries since our collective passing, and yet my granddaughters, Elizabeth and Anastasia, stand before me alive. 
Clovis? Yes, Anastasia. It's me. Incredible. I assume since you've made it this far, you've come for my research. Potent darkness energy. This is what you were looking for, Elizabeth? I could never use it. Something tells me you can. I can, and will, but not alone. We can all use it for good, to save humanity. No, no, no. What? It's not what it's for at all. It's for research, for legacy, for the Bray name only. Why am I not surprised? Don't get holier than thou on me, Elizabeth. Need I remind it was you who volunteered for Project XO? You knew the Bray name was at stake, and you fought for it. Unlike your sisters, oh, your mother, even your father, all ungrateful and weak. You were always a bastard, Clovis. And yet, you stood beside me willingly, even into eternal life. Life I gave you. Well, good thing you did, because I'm going to use it to help save the universe from evil like you. Your naivete was always to be your downfall, granddaughter. Enjoy the gift, and don't forget, you'll always be a Bray, like me. You know, Clovis was always problematic, but he used to have some humanity before he let the darkness take it from him. Screw him. He can't control us anymore. Let's take this power, and use it exactly like he doesn't want us to. For humanity. Anna's right. We have what we came for. Time to take it to the ziggurat. Come find me after. I just wanted to say... Thank you. For so much. Most of all, helping me reunite with my sister. In the dark future, Anna was tempted. And I wasn't there for her. From now on, she can count on me. And when she's ready to wield darkness for good, I'll be right there to guide her. In fact, I'll be here to guide anyone who wants it. The Vanguard only recognizes the light. Someone has to do the same for the dark. Or else we risk losing everyone and everything. We have a universe yet to save. I'm looking forward to doing it together. <laughs>